guys. My name is Christopher Miller. I'm one of the sales consultants here at New Car Auto Mall of Fulton. I want to introduce today the new Ford Bronco Sport 2021. Uh, this might look like a brand new vehicle to Ford's lineup, but it actually is based on their C2 platform, which is the same platform they've been using in the Ford Escape for a number of years now. So you have over a million vehicles on the road right now based on this platform. So it might be new, but it's still time tested. Uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about are the pillars that Ford has designed this vehicle on. Uh, really trying to highlight the safety, the off-road capability of the vehicle, and some of the comfort and convenience aspects that they've built into this uh, to try and make it what I would call a jack of all trades. Uh, so let's start with safety. Uh, the first thing, when I think safety, they do think uh, airbags, the reactive things, uh, and those are certainly part of the Ford design. How well does it do in a crash? But Ford's mentality is that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So they've actually focused more on things that are going to help prevent the accident in the first place, rather than just focusing on things that will keep you safe in the event. Uh, so the first thing with that, you'll notice you've got some cameras up here, you've got radar sensors built into the bumper. Uh, those are used uh, as part of Ford's Copilot 360 suite of technology. Uh, those are going to be used for things like pedestrian detection and forward collision warning. So the idea is that's looking at a thousand times a second, measuring with millimeter accuracy, distances between you and whatever's in front of you. If you get distracted because you spill your coffee or you're turning around to yell at the kids in the back or whatever it might be, your car never gets distracted. It's going to realize that you're coming up on somebody who stopped short in front of you or a pedestrian that walked out in the road not realizing. And it's going to beep and warn you and say, hey, heads up, don't crash into this person. If you don't put your foot on the brake within a certain period of time, if it realized it's about to have a collision, it can actually apply the brakes for you to prevent that or mitigate that collision. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, you come around over here. You've got blind spot monitoring built into the mirror that uses sensors that are built into the tail lights of the vehicle. If it detects that somebody's in your blind spot, that little sensor is going to illuminate yellow and warn you, hey, don't merge into this person. Same idea, this is gonna be using the lane keep assist. So they've got a whole tree, a whole uh, suite of safety technologies to prevent you from having that distracted moment where something bad happens. Uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about as well. Let's go ahead and pop the hood of the vehicle. Actually, this is kind of cool. I don't know if you can come in close here. Uh, but you know, everybody, you pull on that and then you're hunting around in the front to try and find the little yellow tab and open the hood. What they've done with this is actually, you simply pull it twice and now it's unlocked and you don't have to look for that latch. Now Ford has built this on a 1.5 liter three cylinder engine that's turbocharged. And what that's gonna get you is 181 horsepower, 190 pound feet of torque. Uh, the idea being, you know, you've got a lot of power, a lot of performance in this. If you're going to be doing the off-road tests, you need to be able to move. That said, they didn't want to compromise on the gas mileage, so they focused on making this very efficient. They paired this with an eight-speed automatic transmission, a lot of gears to choose from, and they built a lot of technologies that are going to allow it to have better gas mileage while still having that power. Uh, the first of those is going to be cylinder deactivations. So when you're driving, you know, eighth gear, 70 miles an hour on the highway, uh, you know, you don't need all three of those cylinders to be flooding with gas, it's very efficient. So it'll actually temporarily deactivate one of the cylinders. Uh, it can do that within 14 milliseconds, so that's 1 70th of a second. So you're not gonna notice it going on and off, but you will notice better gas mileage. Now the same idea with that is when they deactivate that cylinder, obviously you're not going to be producing quite as much heat with only two cylinders active. So come on here, I don't know if you can see it in here. Ford, they pioneered this on the F-150, but you've got these little slats here called active grill shutters. What they'll do is, again, you're in two cylinder mode, you're in eighth gear, you're cruising on the highway. You don't need a lot of engine cooling. What you need is aerodynamics to make sure that the vehicle is going to go uh, more smoothly with better gas mileage. So these are kind of like Venetian blinds. They'll open up when you're mashing the accelerator and need a little bit better cooling. They'll shot when you're on the highway uh, to get a little bit of aerodynamics. So Ford is thought of this kind of stuff. A couple things I do want to point out as well. Just around here at the back. 
Now the whole point of this, and you'll notice as we're walking around, you've got all of this lower, everything down here is made of a hard plastic. It's not your easily scratchable, easily, uh, you know, marred painted. What this is, is a much more rigid material. Uh, what that's gonna do, this has eight inches of ground clearance. When you're driving over and, and you're doing off-road things, you're kicking up rocks, you're kicking up dirt. This is not going to scratch and scuff nearly as easily as what a traditional painted panel would. And it's a little bit cheaper to replace and it does get damaged. So you'll see with the whole aesthetics of this, uh, you know, it's, the whole thing is designed to be both practical, but also able to be taken off-road. Uh, one thing people ask me about too, you go in here, so now the roof line comes in and then immediately curves upward, the slope here. Well, the idea with that is, take a look back here. These back seats are actually kind of a stadium seating. They sit up a little bit higher than the front seats. That gives the passengers a little bit more uh, in terms of visibility for the front windshield, in terms of a little bit less material blocking their voices, so you have better conversations. But the problem with making that stadium seating, so you do get more leg room, you do get a better visibility. The difficulty is you're compromising on headroom. So that's why they have this swooped roof line here, is you actually get best in class headroom in this without compromising on having to make the seats very low to do that. Come around to his back. Now, this is where I, I liken this to being you kind know, of like the old Escape, right? Back in 2010, 2011, 2012, the Escape was a very squared off vehicle. And then they went with the more modern aesthetic of the sweeping, swooping, angular, rounded uh, design that the current Escape has. Well, I think I can miss that. So when they built this on the same platform as the Escape, they brought back that more squared off uh, style. They even brought back one of my favorite features. My sister-in-law had this in her Escape. We're trying to load her up for college one day. Everything is packed in there like a game of Tetris. You open up the back glass, you can still get to things in there without everything spilling out on the front. I'm gonna open this up actually if you want. And that just shuts and that locks. You do this, this is where you'll see again, you've got that more squared off profile. Very useful if you're putting in things like luggage because you've got more usable room up here at the top. Uh, you'll notice. This is rubber here, and this is actually removable. You can take this out entirely and hose it down. Your seat backs are also rubble, rubber, and they also snap off like that. So again, if you've got these positioned down, now those actually will go flat. You can fit two mountain bikes back here. So imagine you, you've been out, you've been outdoors, you've been doing your mountain biking. You get out, you got dirt, grime, junk all over your tires. You can put that right in there and not worry about getting a mess all over here, because you can easily clean it. Uh, the whole point of this really is designed for that outdoor lifestyle. Uh, a couple things I think are really smart with that. You'll notice up here in the roof, I have a lot of favorite features actually. Uh, you've got little lights and they're adjustable. You can actually point them down, you can point them forward individually. And so let's say that you're doing some tailgating or some camping, maybe you've got your seat under this, you're blocking the rain, you've still got the light shining down so you've got visibility or if you're trying to unload or load up and you need to see so just smart little ideas uh, same idea if you're tailgating you're sitting down here you have a bottle opener go right in there so you can take your uh, your soda or whatever you might have click opens right up there so ford has thought of these little touches just to make it a little bit better for the outdoor lifestyle the other thing i really like these guys are all carabiner clips so you can if you got groceries or if you've got other gear or things like that you can really easily just slot those right in. They're nice and rigid. You got some tie downs here as well. So the whole idea with this is, again, outdoor lifestyle without the compromise. Come around, actually, come around here. Height, fully height adjustable. Driver seat, forward and backward. And I did mention, we talked about the airbags initially, uh, how Ford's whole mentality with this is prevention is better than cure. Well, that doesn't mean they didn't still think about what happens in the event of a collision. Uh, so one of the things I want to talk about, airbags. Not only did they put a ton of airbags in here, so you've got front airbags, you've got a knee airbag to protect you from the steering column and the dash, you've got 
curtain airbags built into the head. They used to put airbags in the door, but this is where Ford has gotten really clever, right? Their vehicle is actually aware not only of the speed at which you collide, but also of your seating position. So, if you have the seat pulled all the way forward, you know, maybe a little more vertically challenged, you don't want the airbag exploding out all the way to here if your head is right there. So Ford actually has position sensors built into the seating. So they're gonna vary the speed at which the airbag inflates and the uh, amount that it comes out based on your seating position there. And then same idea, like I said, they used to put airbags in the door, but they realized that some people are sitting all the way forward, some people are sitting all the way back. You know, some people might be in front of it, some people might be behind it. So now they built the airbags right into the bolsters. So again, no matter where you're seated, you're protected. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about with these seats is you'll know that they are actually cloth seats. But here, come on, I want to show you this. Yes. Or actually, they know that people are going to go, like I said, the mountain biking, right? The hiking, the, maybe they're going to come back covered in mud. Well, you want to sit on your seat covered in mud, get it all gross. So Ford actually developed for this. It's a new material. They call it Easy Clean. I just want to demonstrate that. If I take a water bottle, just pour a little water on there. Can you see this? And you'll note that it just kind of beads up, right? doesn't actually end up staining. The whole idea with that is you got mud, you got gunk, you got whatever ketchup from the cheeseburger you've been eating. That's not going to end up getting soaked in there. It just wipes right off. So that's the whole idea with these, but easier to clean. Um, so I guess what I would say is when I talk about this being a vehicle that they're really not compromising on, this is the jack of all trades. You've got your off-road performance. You've got your gas mileage. I think I mentioned 25 in the city. 28 on the highway, 26 combined. I mean, it's outstandingly efficient. You've got your power. And I gotta say, they did a pretty good job with the aesthetics too. Uh, so that's a basic overview. That's that's what I would wanna cover that, that uh, goes over just the basics of the vehicle. Uh, if you do have more questions and you wanna get to know the vehicle even a little bit more, possibly even take it for a test drive, we definitely have this one available for sale. This isn't just our showroom model. Uh, and we have others that are going to come in as well. So I would love to go over with you. Again, my name is Chris. Uh, I've been here about six years, and I'm more than happy to go over any of those as well as any of our pre-owned vehicles, or we sell Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Nissan, Kia, and Volkswagen. Uh, so I'm more than happy to go over any of those with you as well. Uh, either way, I hope this helped. Uh, just a brief overview of the Bronco Sport. And uh, guys, be sure to come to New Car. See you then.